So I see that Ricochet is going to fit into AEW pretty well. Okay. Him and Tony Khan are just alike. If you've been catching on to Twitter, wrestling Twitter as of late, I peeped that Ricochet was, uh, you know, arguing with fans about how he's going to be irrelevant in the next couple months in AEW, just responding to a lot of negativity on Twitter, right? And Ricochet is going back and forth. I mean, I don't know exactly everything he said. I, I just caught wind of the back and forth, you know, tweets with him and fans and whatnot. And this is something that Tony Khan would do, right? Tony Khan will go back and forth with fans at times. You know, Tony Khan don't know how to control himself on Twitter, right? Ricochet seems like he is the same person. Like, he's, he has that same behavior. And why is he even wasting his time? I have no idea. But nonetheless, let's talk about Ricochet's AEW debut at All In. Now, I have to say I'm very unimpressed with his debut. I mean, there's been some strong debuts in AEW, and there's been a lot of weak ones. I would say Ricochet's debut was pretty weak. Um, it wasn't memorable at all. Um, he didn't even win. He didn't even win the um, the number one contenders battle royal. Um, Christian Cage, I think, have won, which was probably the best option. I would say. Um, you know, Ricochet is going to be just like every other AEW debut. They'll get a couple of, you know, shining moments. Like, they'll be the flavor of the month. And around maybe month two, they'll fizzle out. Because everybody that debuts in AEW from WWE, they wind up fizzling out not everybody but for the most part like ex nxt wrestlers and you know ricochet is going to be another case of that um of course we're going to see ricochet versus will osprey that's a given right but man i feel like there was a missed opportunity with him debuting in aew as prince puma Right, Ricochet's um, former past gimmick from Lucha Underground. I think that would have been the best way for him to come into all elite wrestling. And it should have been more like a mystery where he wears the mask, of course, but he covers his body tattoo. So no one knows that it is him. Right, every part of his body is covered. The tattoos are covered. So we don't know it's Ricochet, right? He comes in as Prince Puma. Um, you know, it's definitely a change in his gimmick, right? I mean, Ricochet never really had much character development in the WWE, nor a gimmick. Um, it would have been a great chance for him to evolve himself, right? Because he's bringing that gimmick, that past gimmick that worked in Lucha Underground into the secondary mainstream wrestling show, right? I think that was just a missed opportunity. Now Ricochet is going to be another face in the roster that just puts on five-star matches, no character development, no storylines, nothing to garner any interest in ricochet right i think if he came in as prince puma it would be a lot more intriguing right because no one would know who he is i don't think a lot of people watched lucha underground back in the day right so it would be a new character a new name on your aew roster and of course, he would wrestle like Ricochet, but um, to some people in AEW that watch AEW religiously, not going to know that it's really Ricochet, right? And just have him be distinctive, have him be a mystery, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, have him be that Spider-Man like character on Dynamite or Collision. Um, AEW really needs more characters on their show. And I think you know, they dropped the ball with not giving Ricochet a character. Prince Puma would have been the perfect gimmick for Ricochet coming into AEW. But once again, Ricochet does not evolve as a character. He never actually evolved as a character in the w- in the WWE in the first place. So he's just going to remain very stagnant and he's never going to grow in AEW. 